and is now in police custody. A West Valley bus driver who drove her bus into a ditch now faces 21 charges of reckless endangerment. On September 1st, Rhonda Beck drove her bus with 21 children into a ditch on Cottonwood Canyon Road. There were no major injuries. Prosecutors say they believe Beck was drunk and that she may have been on drugs as well. County Prosecutor Jeff Sullivan says that if she is convicted of these new charges, he will ask for a significant jail sentence in the case. Now, here's KDO meteorologist Phil Lana with tonight's local fast alert weather forecast. Thanks a lot, Dave. Well, the clouds on the increase, and the bad news is the cloud cover will be sticking around over the next couple of days. As we look back into the Pacific, we can see a massive line of clouds all headed toward the Pacific Northwest. That pretty much signifying the position of the jet stream. Across the region right now, well, the shower activity is starting to pick up on the west side. The cloud cover also just starting to spill over the Cascades. So our forecast for your Friday will look for mostly cloudy skies and a slight chance of a shower, along with breeze. Easy conditions up to 73 in Yakima, 70 in Ellensburg. The weekly planner has scattered showers sticking around through the weekend, along with windy conditions. That's a look at your forecast. It's now time for sports with Derek Dice. Thank you very much, Mr. Lana. We've been telling you all week it's coming right down in the wire for the Mariners and with just four games left in the regular season. The Mariners will be trying to increase their division lead by pulling off a three-game sweep of the Texas Rangers, but things didn't look too good early on. Jamie Moyer was roughed up for four runs and less than two innings pitched, but Seattle would battle back Edgar Martinez. This guy has been tough as nails all year long. A two-run bomb capped off a five-run third inning, putting the M's up 5-4 on Edgar's 36th Jack of the Year, but the Rangers rally right back with the bases loaded in the sixth, Ricky today breaks it wide open with a double to the gap. All three runs would come around to score on the play, and the Rangers go on to route the M tonight, 13 to six. But not to worry too much, the A's lost as well, so the lead is still just a half a game. Coming up at midnight, we'll have more on Marion Jones's quest to bring home five gold medals, plus a thrilling finish in the women's soccer final. Dave, send it back to you. All right, Derek, thanks very much. Recapping our lead story right now, Greg Gladdy will now take care of routine business for the city of Union Gap, while his predecessor, Don Schusler, will work on special projects for Union Gap. Some folks attending a city council meeting on Monday felt that they weren't getting the kind of advice from Schusler they wanted, so the city has made a change. Both men work for the same law firm. That's it for local news, weather, and sports for right now. We return you to the Olympic Games with a reminder that we'll be back with 11 minutes of nonstop news, weather, and sports at midnight after the Games, as well as a wrap-up on all the day's news sports. Have a good night and enjoy your day. This Olympic News Update, sponsored by Subway. Okay, I'm going digital. Geez, all you guys do is work. It's lunchtime. You deserve something fresh from Subway. I'm talking to you, Bruno. Listen up. Check these out. Upgrade your lunch with our new Subway Selects, each with a unique sauce, steak and cheese with spicy Southwest sauce, roast beef with horseradish sauce, the tangy honey mustard melt, and more, all on fresh baked gourmet breads. Which one do you want? I love technology. Subway. <laughs> Eat fresh.